Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Spring is here, and if you're wondering how you can help birds, butterflies, and other wow, this is your read, Quad. Sorry oh, about that. Oh, is it? But that's okay. And other wildlife, go ahead. Where are we at? It and other wildlife. Uh -huh. where, where is it? Oh, down there. Is yes. That it? Okay. And other wildlife thrive this season. Uh, you, we have you come to the right place. That's uh, right. Our next guest, here we go, is a wildlife expert with the National Wildlife Federation, who will talk to us about how to create a wildlife habitat with the help of some special little friends. Please welcome David Mizajewski. Hello, sir. Hey, how are you? Is. I'm doing really well. So you guys like birds and butterflies, right? Yes, we do. I mean, yeah. Everybody loves birds and butterflies. Yes. So mm -hmm. I've got a new edition of my book. It's called Attracting Birds, Butterflies, and Other Backyard Wildlife. Okay. So I've got some tips on how everybody everywhere can plant a butterfly garden, put out birdhouses for, you know, to attract nesting birds this yes. spring. It's real simple. Plants are wildlife habitats. So yes. pretty flowers like this phlox, Bee bomb, goldenrod, these guys bloom at different kinds of times of the year, spring, summer, fall. If you plant beautiful native plants in your yard, you're uh -huh. going to get lots of birds and bees oh. and butterflies and all the great cute wildlife. Okay. You can put out a bird bath. Uh huh. I mean, we're animals I have kids, so this is fun. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Just a, this is just a you know ceramic bird bath. You can put this on the ground. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's box turtles around or little bunnies that want to get a drink mm -hmm. out of this. If you hang it in a tree, then the birds will be able to come and get a drink. So the plants are providing food in the form of the nectar and the and the seeds. All the yumminess. Mm -hmm. Then you get the water source. Then we go down to the nesting box and okay. check this out here. Okay, so we, a lot of people call these things birdhouses. Yes. Yeah. I call them nesting boxes because birds only use them to nest. They don't don't live in them. Oh. They don't live in them year round. Okay. And so if folks put these out, this is a chickadee box, and there are chickadees that live all around the country. Mm -hmm. You can actually have baby birds being raised in, in your yard. Oh. It's really neat. And here's there. another another That's cute boots. Another important really tip. Is. These birds feed their babies bugs. So if you're out in your yard this year, try not to spray the pesticides. Yes. Because 96% of birds feed their babies insects. And yeah. if we take away all the insects, those baby birds are going to starve to death. Mm. Not a good thing. Ooh, yeah. And I love the birds in my backyard. I see red birds, I see blue birds, yeah. I see all types of birds. I like all the birds, and I like to hear them chirping. Yeah, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what, look, this is why the National Wildlife Federation, we've got this whole Garden for Wildlife program, because not only do the wildlife need our help, I mean, millions of acres of wildlife habitat are getting turned into pavement and buildings and mm, lawns that yes. don't support anything. So e this is a way that everybody out there can get involved in wildlife conservation. Right. And it's a feel-good thing. You get rewarded because you see these beautiful animals and you know that you're doing something good. It's think right. globally, right. act locally. Well, right. now, you said earlier that there was other wild life. Yes, mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> what was that? Like the birds and the turtles and the bunnies. Yeah. What do you got today? So what all sorts of animals today? might show up in your yard. So I brought some unconventional animals. Right. Right. Just to prepare you in case okay. they do show up. So let's bring in our first one. Are they pretty? They are pretty. I think they're gorgeous. This. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. You know it's a snake, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So yeah. this animal terrifies people, but is really important in the in the environment. This is called a, a corn snake. Yes. And you can see how beautiful it is. And yes. if you are brave, nice do you want to touch it? No, we're well, good on that. I'm just gonna say. Now, I, Go I'm, ahead, Miss Quad. Where, where, where I'm from, we we normally don't like snakes, especially if they have two legs. Uh, so you know, I I don't know. You want to do it? And he's looking at me. What 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 is he looking at me about? So so. What all right, a couple yes. important things about snakes. Almost all snake species are 100% harmless to people. Almost, though. All, there are some venomous species out there, but yeah, they're not going to show up in your yard. Him. No, I yeah. would not be handling him of if he course. was venomous, right? So, so you want to gently touch him right there. Feel not slimy, right? No, he's not. Kind of smooth and cool. That's that real snake yeah. skin. These animals are eating rodents. Okay. You want them around. So that's how that. That's how you one. benefit. Yeah. That's how the snakes benefit from the habitat. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So they're going to come in and they're going to, you know, they're going to go and they're going to take care of the rats okay. and the mice mm -hmm. and things like that. We've got another cool animal that okay. I want to show you. So yes. I'm going to put our snake friend away. I love Miss Quad. All I'm right. holding so, on. So, you know, birds, we were talking about hey. birds. We we're talking about songbirds. But if you build the habitat right, you might attract gorgeous birds like this owl. This so, is, let me tell you this, this David. Owl, I actually this have seen like two owls in my backyard. Amazing. So, I'm like mistakenly building this wildlife well, in my backyard. Yeah, well, no. I mean, a lot of people already have good habitat. They just don't know it, right? I, so, clearly. Yeah. So, so, this is a barn owl. This is a species found all around the world. But unfortunately, it's declining because, again, we humans are trashing their habitat. Oh, they need, you know, trees and forested areas to build their nests. And so, you know, try to keep that in. Whoopsies. Oh, my God. Did he just drop <laughs> He let one out. It's Everybody fine. Food. 
Oops. Everybody does it. <laughs> Luckily, we weren't we within we firing range there. We yeah. yeah. so, so, but you guys, beautiful feathers, nocturnal. These guys are also eating. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. They're okay, eating they're mice and rats. Yes. So mm -hmm. the big message with this guy, why don't we go grab our next animal, yeah. Tom? Yes. Is um, don't put out, step. don't put out rat poison. Okay. Because oh. these guys will eat those rats and, and it actually oh, poisons kills. them. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Now this last animal, you might get a little bit freaked out by. We're not going to touch. Right. Okay? Yes. But um, really, one of my favorite animals mm -hmm. on the planet. Yes. So we're just going to let him do his thing oh, here. But what does he do right. to help? So do you guys know what it is? It's an opossum. Exactly. It's yes. an opossum, or just possum for short. So possums are so cool. They're Look at only his knees. North American marsupials, so they're they're like kangaroos. They've got a pouch yeah. where mm -hmm. the babies live. They eat ticks. New research is showing one possum can clear out 5,000 ticks oh, wow. over the course of one summer in your yard. He gets it in. Yeah. They eat venomous snakes. They eat rodents. They're, you know, you don't want to pet them or touch them. They mm. are wildlife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trained to do this. Okay. If you see one of these in your yard, it's an awesome thing. It means you've helped the wildlife. Again, David, mm. I saw an, an, a possum yeah. in my front yard in the tree. So the people that owned the house before us, they were very much into the so yard. So what we're going to do is we're going to certify mm -hmm. your yard, Rashad. Yes! As a, as a National true. Wildlife Federation certified wildlife habitat, because you obviously have it going on, and everybody can do this. Yay. If you plant native plants, put out some feeders, put out some nesting boxes, my book is a how-to on how to do this. It's called Attracting Birds, Butterflies, and Other Backyard Wildlife. Yes. And, and again, it's a feel-good thing. You'll be helping the environment. You'll be helping the wildlife. It's a great way for kids to learn about nature wow. right outside their door. Uh, hey, man. So, yeah. How you doing? <laughs> All right. Well, David, tip them this, that way. this is fantastic. I mean, we've learned a lot about what we're already doing, obviously, for yeah. me, and what you can do to help uh, in, in your, your, your yard. That's, That's what perfect. it's all about. That's perfect. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Mr. Opossum, or yeah. Possum for short. He mm -hmm. need to go to get his uh, manicure, that nail right yeah. down the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for a step-by-step -step guide on how to attract and build a wildlife habitat, get David's book, Attracting Birds, Butterflies, and Other Wildlife on Amazon today. Thank you so much, David. This was fantastic. Thank we'll be you. right back after this. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome back uh, to This is a Circle Live. Well, folks, if you have a fear of animals like our sister Selena and Trina, they have not decided to join. Are you good? Let me offer you a little incentive to face that fear. The real Tarzan, uh, you and your animals are welcome down to the circle. I mean, you know, that's just kind of how, oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, oh. Hey there, friend. Ooh, good with that shirt on. Oh, oh, come on. No, you didn't. Trina, would you like to join us to say goodbye? <laughs> Bye. Because, because, <laughs> the, because the aisle's right there. It's fine. He's not going to do anything. No, okay. That's fine. Well, he's, he's, on he's really pretty, though. Yes. Yeah. Look at Selena. Oh, that is so there. funny. They are not here for it. He's I there. He's from there. Totally safe. Yes. Yeah, Look, I'm no going to go ahead and just... Stay, stay okay. Take your word I'll, for I'll it. It's, it's okay to appreciate wild animals. Right. Absolutely. People, right. We'll be back Monday with zoo. a double dose of Braxton's <laughs> because Tawanda will be here. Look. It's too much. God created the owl, man. God created the owl. <laughs>